Today, we have four Baka Food contestants vying for the title of the most antidote cow in the universe. Our first finalist is a cow of subacute acidosis. She is in her early postpartum period and is exhibiting erratic feed intake, poor body condition score, decreased milk production, and milk fat content. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Ariella Camarita! Our next, concept, our next contestant is also exhibiting subacute acidosis with observable decrease in feed intake, reduced metabolic deficiency, and overall performance. She also has lameness and abomasal disease. A true acidotic cow with vast experience in cold weather conditions. Miss Maxine Mutina! Ladies and gentlemen, our next contestant is lucky she isn't dead yet. She has acute acidosis and has been experiencing bouts of vomiting and diarrhea, tachycardia, sakipnia, and a marked decrease in milk production. Ms. Catalana Gray! <laughs> And last but not the least is another cow with acute acidosis, also still alive with clinical signs of inhabitants, laminitis, aesthetic rumen, and polio encephalitia. Pia Burns Baka! <laughs> Time for a question and answer round. You will be picking one of these four envelopes for your question. Miss Ariella Barria, you will be first. <laughs> so, my question is, what do you believe is the main reason for cows acquiring acidosis? In my opinion, um, the main reason, the reason for acquiring acidosis is excessive big ingestion of rapidly digestible grains such as cereals, oats, and barley. Excessive amounts of carbohydrates is released in the rumen, and these are rapidly fermented rather rather than digested normally. Bacteria in the rumen will produce lactic acid, lowering the pH resulting to acidosis. And that is all. Thank you. Thank you. What an interesting answer. Ms. Cattle Ronnie Gray, please come to the front. question is, how would a proper diagnosis of acidosis help the cattle suffering from it, such as yourself? Um, I, have great, I have felt a great deal of pain in my condition, more so when it was undiagnosed. Cows with acidosis have lives that are poor and are very sad. Wow. <laughs> I know that with the help of diagnostic methods such as the analysis of ruminal fluid, biochemical profiling, identification of acid base and electrolyte abnormalities, and your analysis, among others. Us affected ruminants would be able to go forward for treatment and not be lost in our own pain. With the proper diagnosis of acidosis, we'll be able to see our situation with the silver lining, the possibility of treatment, and we will be able to live without the negativity this disorder brings us. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Pia Wurtzbaka, please come to the center stage. The question is, if you were a farm manager, how exactly would you prevent the occurrence of acidosis? To be a farm manager is both an honor and responsibility. If I were to be a farm manager to prevent the occurrence of acidosis, 
I will avoid feeding rapidly digested feeds such as corn, oats, wheat, barley, and sorghum. Instead, I will provide them with high concentrate diets and high fiber forage or byproducts through high frequency feeding. Since the main cause of acidosis is suggestion of excessive quantities of rapidly fermentative carbohydrates, I want to show the cows, the whole farm rather, that I am confident in it. Thank you for that great answer. Our next contestant, Ms. Maxine Modina, please. Thank you. 